General Colin Powell, a man who has served as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and Secretary of State, prepares to face a tough crowd, the freshman class at the West Michigan Aviation School in Grand Rapids, Michigan. It doesn't matter where you start in life, it's where you end up and what you do along the way. And he should know, born of immigrant parents who came to this country with nothing, Powell looked at the ninth graders, the first class of the new charter school that will focus on training for aviation careers. So you've been given one heck of an opportunity. And I hope you realize the importance of that opportunity. I hope you realize that this opportunity has been given to you for you to seize and do something with it and do something with your lives. Paul told the students he struggled in school but made it through. He said he did not quit and neither should they. But the education you're going to get here, the exposure you're going to get here, these wonderful facilities that are here, these gifted teachers and leaders that you have here are going to prepare you for whatever life holds whether you go into aviation or whether you go into other form of science or math or whether you go into social studies, wherever you go, you're getting a grounding here that will hold you in good stead. Do not miss it. Do not fail to drink it all in and to absorb everything you get here. The students didn't waste the opportunity to learn from General Powell. They asked him some very tough questions. What were some like main guidelines and morals you kind of live by that really like really got you through all the major accomplishments. I've always tried to uh, live a life of, of integrity and honesty and, and ethical behavior. Um, if you portray that to people, uh, they will think very highly of you. I've always tried to perform all my jobs in a selfless way. You know, it was important to do what is expected of me and to work hard and to give my boss, whether it was the president or a general or a captain I worked for, give them the very best that I had. And that was recognized and it always kept me moving ahead. People have been telling me that you would have been a great president. I was wondering, as a result, why did you not take the advantage? Well, I, yeah, thank you. I don't know if I would have been a great president, but <laughs> I felt an obligation to think about it and consider it. And I did, with my family, with a lot of friends. And uh, I never felt that I had the passion or that fire in me uh, that would have made me a successful campaigning and working politician. It just wasn't me. I was wondering, what was your inspiration or drive to devote your life to helping uh, America's people? Yeah, doing a number of things, traveling around the country. And I kept running into uh, groups of youngsters who were not on, on a path going anywhere. And I felt that we had to do something about it. The former Secretary of State got to see the classrooms and the type of environment the school works to achieve. This is an example of a charter school. Uh, that is its own district that's doing a great job. You can see these youngsters are very excited about being in here. And we just need to keep focusing on education at every level. Charter schools, non-charter public schools. We need to bring them all up and uh, Grand Rapids and especially in Detroit a lot of work needs to be done. He says education needs to be fixed so children are prepared for jobs and a productive life. And it's going to take all of us and it's not just fixing the schools, it's fixing the families, fixing the communities, fixing the economic situation so people have uh, jobs and can bring home dignity every Friday night with a paycheck. And that's the example you provide your kids. While talking to the students, he said each child should start to think about the choices they'll make. Whatever path you start down, as it branches into different choices, just make sure that you take the choice that lets you do something that you love doing and that you do well. If you love doing it, do it well and continue to do it well. Success will come your way. He told them they may be young, but they can still give back to their communities. At this stage in your life, when you're young, when you're pretty much thinking about yourself a lot, this is the time for you to serve others. This is the time for you to understand that to be a good citizen, be a good American. General Powell joked a little with the students before he left. You guys are going to make it. All of you are going to make it. You ladies and gentlemen who are sitting here are going to make it because you had the initiative to apply to come here. You have your families pushing you. And because I don't think this guy over here is going to let you fail. Or all the wonderful teachers are back here. And if you fail, I'm going to be really, really mad. Um, I may have to come back here. You know, and you don't want to see that. Okay? In Grand Rapids, Teresa Rashid, EAG TV.